we all know who was the uh, fastest man on the earth. That was uh, Usain Bolt. He never uh, drink anything else or you. When I started to, to study medicine, I saw that basically everything is based on just drugs. So unfortunately, we are not treating people, we are just uh, treating symptoms. Yeah. Why are so many people, they're scared to drink raw milk? Be because of a uh, corporate world forming the minds and views of the people. People is uh, usually ignorant, go on a television and see what corporations which pasteurizing milk are uh, telling them. Of course. All right guys, we're here at the goat farm and we're gonna bring you some of the tremendous benefits of drinking the milk, how it was ordained for us to drink the real raw milk. We're talking about the benefits of not only cow's milk, but also the extra benefits of goat's milk, raw. And we call that real milk. Not pasteurized, not going through the human process where you destroy all of the beneficial, the majority of the beneficial nutrients, the uh, digestive enzymes in, uh, that are in there, and people are actually getting sick from not drinking the real milk, but drinking the fake milk, the pasteurized milk, homogenized milk. So we'll be talking about that here on The Dean Show. Don't go anywhere. This is The Dean, The Dean This is The Dean. Because people want so much milk. I can't even make the cheese. I make this uh, just to try for myself yeah, and others because everybody wanted milk. Last year, I couldn't even make Maybe I make three times cheese secretly. <laughs> because everybody wanted milk and just milk disappeared. I don't have a milk. And somebody like uh, my friends and cousins said, do you make cheese? We would like to. I said, well, I don't have milk. I if you don't have a milk, probably you can't make cheese. <laughs> All, you see, this is a cheese which was sitting in a, you can try which was sitting in a, in a salt, and in a way, that means this and salt. I'm a mom, when I provide it, we'll see what kind of salt is this in? Uh, uh, a sea salt is uh, the best. Like a Him Himalayan salt, uh, sea salt? Uh, yeah, but you know that salt with the, uh, plenty of jod inside. Plenty uh, yod, uh, yoda. Iodine. Iodine. Over, si over 65 degrees Celsius, uh, milk is uh, pasteurized. That's where you losing around 40% of all important good things in a milk what you should have in your body. That's why raw milk have all that, but pasteurized milk lose 40% uh, of uh, all that. And uh, that milk, which is a pasteurized, can stay longer. But you see, uh, raw milk, even if stay on open, even if come uh, uh, sour, it's not danger because you get the other product. For example, you can put in a raw milk, a little bit of yogurt, two spoons on yogurt, and leave on the sun here, just uh, preserved from animals. Leave on the sun, uh, and after 24, 48 hours, mix that together, you have beautiful yogurt. You can drink it. It's a top uh, uh, quality. That means it, it can't be danger for you. When is a milk healthy, it, it can't be danger even if you if stay on the sun because you have different product. Yeah. Because uh, milk working mm -hmm. uh, all the time works inside the milk uh, making uh, next product. But let's go back to the cheese. Wait, one, I more, will, one, more, one more question. Yeah. Why are so many people, they're scared to drink raw milk? Bec because of a uh, corporate world forming the minds and views of the people. People is uh, usually ignorant, go on a television and see what corporations which pasteurizing milk are uh, telling them. Of course, that milk in a shop is uh, pasteurized, they're selling them, and that's what they know.
they never uh, you see only five uh, percent of the people on earth wanted to put nose behind the fence to see what's going on why somebody uh, uh, giving me only option of this I want to have a look uh, other things because you see uh, sadly Western countries uh, like Germany Australia uh, New Zealand UK they even uh, prohibit to sell to the public raw milk why because uh, big corporations who own so many thousands of calves uh, sheep and goats they're pasteurizing milk to sell to the public and they're making good money and of course they will say well raw milk is no good that's the only reason and people doesn't know people what they watch on the television they see the politician they see the corporate uh, 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 magnates who is a multi-millionaires because of their ignorance and that's what they, they what they're following like a sheep you know put the one sheep uh, 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 over the bridge and the rest of them they go if you ask them why are you going well I'm going because one of them <laughs> go first <laughs> I want to tell you how I make the cheese <laughs> you get the uh, because <coughs> this is raw this is now raw goat cheese raw uh, organic cheese yeah. uh, if you you see uh, we call that when you milk from the goats it would be ideal if you can pick up stradovai and bring the inside and keep that temperature and put a uh, stuff call we call that Maya here but that actually is a special stuff which is a mite from the stomach inside of the sheep in a body and that come sour and uh, that mixture we call that Maya which is the organic uh, they making a bloke who have that formula only uh, in uh, Travnik near the Vlasic, he making that sort of stuff. And you put one spoon in a five liters of the milk, mix gently, up and down like this, and gently or on, not to give a fast, mil uh, fast mixing. And when you do that, let it stay for two hours. After two hours, get a knife, cut in a squares, like maybe two square centimeters or one or whatever then just move them together to separate the squares and leave a more two hours or four doesn't matter it's it's, a, it's another when that happened when totally cool down and you see you got greenish this way on the top that means cheese is a down then you strain and put it in a in a shapes and you got this look real goat cheese raw goat cheese a raw goat cheese which look you can nail this cheese you can put him couple hours to dry then put them in a special buckets with the salt and keep them for winter uh, after 90 dice roughly 90 dice they would become cheese which uh, I can show you. I have a little bit of example of that. Uh, we can taste it. I'll be back. So now we're drinking some sutrka. Surutka. S surutka. Sur in English way. Surutka in English way. Raw, way. Yeah. raw, raw way. For good help. Bismillah. Mm, delicious. Mashallah. This is not the way protein, it's just the way, but this is uh, the right way. <laughs> yeah. Is it, it's so this is where they make the, that's the synthetic version, right? Yeah, of course. But this is the real way. This is, but yeah. That's so. what I'm saying about to yeah. drink for liters and liters, because uh, somebody teach him. Uh, this is a why how you can get uh, what he wants. Real way. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I finally found what, uh, what we were looking for. Some real raw goat's milk here in Bosnia. 
<laughs> so what, what, when did you uh, milk this? Uh, this the morning. Goat? So this is from this morning. Yes. Milking yes. raw goat's milk. Yes. W what are some of the the benefits of goat milk that you can share with raw goat's milk? Uh, look, uh, raw goat's milk, uh, according to science uh, from uh, UK, United States of America, is uh, 85 percent. Uh, equal to the mother's milk what we drink when we born and how and many percent i t five percent eighty five percent yes and uh, plus this milk is uh, from organic food because my guts eat everything what is organic uh, on this land never been uh, any chemicals and that is a plus uh, in my opinion, goat's milk is uh, the best milk on earth what you can have. That's, that's the basically uh, what can I say about goat's milk. Beautiful. And we, we also have a, a future medical doctor here who's been studying nutrition. And he can go also share with us some of the insights that you've learned about the benefits of goat's milk. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, so, alhamdulillah, goat's milk is a very good uh, option to, uh, if you are searching for uh, milk to drink because in goat's milk you don't have A2 casein, which is basically uh, the allergic su substances that, that we have in the cow's milk. So, uh, as the previous uh, mister said, uh, so it, if it's most like uh, mother's milk, so 85% is uh, alike, and uh, basically when you uh, this is milk if m mother doesn't have uh, milk uh, to nurse the, the child so this this is milk of choice for you can you tell us some of the we talked about the goat's milk but what other foods do you have here and how do you feel now you're health wise eating the real foods and have you totally gone away from eating much of the the, the fake foods and how how is eating this kind of food this is truly organic uh, food benefited your health uh, well, I'm 61 years old and uh, I can run now like uh, most of city uh, blokes, 25, 30, even more. Uh, benefit of the goat's milk is uh, enormous. And plus, plus one more thing. Uh, I will show you after we can try, we can bring here and try uh, a product from uh, goat's milk. You know, when you have a cheese, and after that, uh, we have, uh, how we, I, I forgot English, uh, how you say for Surutka in English? No, 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 it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, ba back to the, the to, to the future uh, nutritionist, uh, medical doctor, who's really, uh, he's understood that in medical school, doctors don't learn about nutrition. So you went on your own to study nutrition. You were so amazed with it that you're continuing going to medical school but at the same time a parallel is happening you're studying the benefits and getting more educated on nutrition is that right yeah alhamdulillah. so basically we, we haven't spent uh, any hour on learning uh, about nutrition uh, since uh, fourth year so basically now i'm finishing the fourth year and uh, I was interested in, in uh, nutrition and, and uh, this alternative medicine uh, since I performed hijama first it, it was before uh, even uh, I started uh, the m uh, medical school. So basically, when I started, uh, when I started to, to study medicine, I saw that basically everything is based on, on just drugs. So unfortunately, we are not treating people; we are just uh, treating symptoms. So we will, uh, we should try to uh, find out uh, what is the cause of the diseases, so, uh, because. For example, if you look uh, about the, the serious uh, truth about uh, <laughs> cancer, so you will see that ho how the doctors on e uh, East are treating the, the people uh, which have cancer, and they, they basically cure them uh, with Allah's help, of course, uh, in, in three to four months, maybe a year, depends on the situation of the, the patient. What key piece of advice would you get? Would you give for people out there who are trying to better their health? They're trying to take care of this vehicle that the Creator has provided for us to get us through life. And now they're, they go to the doctor, they're confused, they sit there, they get seen, they wait an hour, they get seen for five minutes, and just like you said, they get another drug. But they want to take their health to another level. What piece of simple advice, or a couple pieces of advice, would you give them? Well, first of all, I would recommend them to uh, eat as much raw food as they can. 
so avoid sugars, avoid uh, refined, especially refined sugars, uh, avoid processed food, uh, fast foods. So basically you should eat and, and drink like, uh, for example, goat's milk that we mentioned here, uh, eat so, uh, brown bro bone broth, especially because uh, it basically regenerates all cells in the body. Uh, so. Subhanallah, you have a lot of benefits. So you, we, we, inshallah, we, uh, can cure every, every disease uh, if we focus on our health, our, on our intake. So this is the goat cheese. Yes. yes. Raw goat cheese. Yes. Yes. Just made this this morning. We got. We Mike. also. We also got some raw goat cheese here. So what would you say are the benefits of now? We talked about the drinking the raw goat's milk. And also the benefits, there's benefits tremendously of, of raw cow's milk also, right? Yeah, alhamdulillah, we have as, as well because uh, when you drink as well uh, cow's milk but unprocessed, uncooked, so basically uh, raw when you, when you drink it, we have 10 times more electrolytes uh, or vitamins inside it than uh, cooked. So even even when we mention cheese, uh, even it's goats or cows, uh, it has a, a enormous benefits on our health. But I would perform uh, uh, rather uh, goat's milk uh, uh, instead of cow's milk mm -hmm. because of the previously mentioned uh, benefits. So you, you mentioned something very important, not the conventional milk, because according to the Food and Drug Administration, they have as the number one allergenic food is milk of course but that's not the real milk that the creator gave us to drink that's the processed milk, milk. that's gone through the the um, pasteurization process yeah. homogenization process you were talking about the real straight from the source yeah but i mean i understand that the process how, why are they doing this because uh when you have for example 100 or 200 cows uh and uh, there is a lot of risk of uh br brucellosis or, or ad other uh, type of uh, contamination so uh, basically because of this, they are doing those things. But un unfortunately, it, it uh, causes harm to our body. So we should, uh, if we can, we should find the, the best or, or nearest farm. And the guy, uh, the guy that we know, for example, he, he, uh, he, has, uh, he, he has foods, uh, which is organic, that gives to, to his uh, animals. So basically, we should take milk or pro uh, milk products from him, not from the uh, farms. Uh, one more thing I want to ask you, what about when you go to some of the masjids, you go, you know, uh, to the housewarming parties and you got first thing on the table is, is the Coca-Cola, you know, the, the processed foods. You said stay away from that. How important is it to get it through someone's head to really stay away from these foods? Now, uh, because uh, how detrimental is this to uh, having good health and avoiding bad health? Yep. Uh, when we eat uh, refined sugars basically which uh, in i think in coca-cola we have approximately five grams of uh, sugar refined sugar so basically we are increasing our, our uh, uh, increasing our um, it increases basically the the causes of uh, of diabetes for example of of uh, uh, atherosclerosis uh, ad, uh, other diseases so basically uh, refined sugar as uh, now studies show that basically they are number one especially as dairy products which are uh, derived from conventional uh, animals uh, conventional food uh, so basically uh, those products we should avoid first we we should uh, take care of our health because uh, our Lord said us uh, So basically this uh, word tayyib uh, means uh, clear and uh, it's not just halal, it's clear. So we should eat raw organic food. Beautiful advice, beautiful advice here. Eating the tayyibat, eating the good food that the Creator Allah SWT has given us. And what, what, what were you saying now, what is this? Uh, this is a news product when you're making cheese uh, from the goat's milk. Uh, of course, uh, uh, again, we talk about raw milk, not pasteurized, raw milk. And this uh, news product is a co uh, called whey. Uh, it's a so nutritious and so good. Uh, we all know who was the uh, fastest man on the earth. That was uh, Usain Bolt. He never uh, drink anything else or use any uh, medicals for, to get uh, his body fit. He had a special farm on Jamaica, on Jamaica, and uh, they're making so many hundreds of liters uh, 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 goat's product, nose product from the cheese, which is a whey, and he drink that because this is a basically medication in one way. 
it's clear up our body from the mouth to the back all of I and uh, I would recommend everybody everybody to drink especially in the morning when you wake up just a cup like this it's so good if you if you go on a well we we not uh, uh, trying to explain in a way of, of uh, uh, nutrients America but if you go on a Google and uh, just uh, uh, ask Google to tell you what is this you will see uh, what's benefits you got from this but you believe or not 90% uh, people if you give them for free they will walk away they don't want to drink because they are ignorant because ignorance is the biggest uh, uh, enemy for us uh, they they have no idea like I said to you when I offer the uh, goat's milk to the bloke he he tried, he said, ah, this is not goat's milk, uh, goat's milk supposed to stink. That's, that's his attitude, what somebody else told him. He, he never tried before. And that's why we have to uh, encourage people to, uh, not just to, to, to drink, to benefit of that. And it's real important, brothers and sisters, to understand that there's a difference between when food, when you have food that's halal, and then tayyibat, tayyib, the, the real food, the organic food, the, you know, and there, there came a time in history when the food was just food, it wasn't organic, it was just food, but now, nowadays, you know, they've even distinguished, you have, you know, half a million fake food items out there that is destroying people's health. You have 95% of chronic diseases are food related. So we're trying to get people at a white belt level to remove the Coca-Cola and the sodas from the masjids and take it up a notch, get rid of all of the harmful elements that are just invading the body, toxic foods, poison, and you wonder why your kids are sick, you're sick, you're overweight, you're obese, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, through the roof. So you got to get these things right if you want to have good health and honor the blessing of health that Allah, that the Creator of the heavens and earth has given you. So this is just one aspect of it. We're talking about it. We're talking about the milk. But take it to another level and remember this. Eat real food. Avoid fake food. And I love to see people who have taken it seriously and they're starting to educate their communities in the masjids. They're starting to create awareness. And I'm telling you, at the end, this is what's going to pay off. This is the preventative measures that you're tying your camel, as the Prophet said, you're doing your part now. And then from there, inshallah, you put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah the Almighty.